Do you find you run most of your business through emails themselves? That when an email comes in, in effect, the email becomes the task or the work to be done next week. So how do you organise your email? Or particularly if you're using Gmail, Google Mail, then how do you organise those things so that those emails in effect become tasks? Well, often you may have heard the expression CRM, Customer Relationship Management. And in effect, it means that you can manage your emails from the beginning when there's perhaps an inquiry, right through to the time when you invoice them and then you then do a follow up. So how do you go about that in an easy way? Is there a way of doing it in a free way within Gmail itself as if it was like a built in mechanism spreadsheet that you can use for free? Well, I'm going to show you today the way to get an inbox zero by means of Streak CRM. So I'm Zane from Zanet Design and I help small businesses grow on the Internet. So if you want to know ways of organising and managing your small business, then I'm trying to provide you with ways in which you can do that so that you can grow in Google, grow in the search engines and then see more and more inquiries come through for your small business. So as I learn these things for my business, I'm also sharing them with you too. And you'll notice that one of the things I often use is Streak CRM. And the reason I use it is it helps me to be on ball, on task, and know exactly where things are in the pipeline of managing my customers. So if you want to learn how I use that, how it automates itself, how it's free as well, and how it means that my Gmail account is always inbox zero each day, then I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. So let me jump straight onto the computer now and show you the benefits of Streak. So you'll notice that uh, straight away, if I go to my Gmail inbox, and of course, if you haven't got your professional uh, email to point to your Gmail, so you can collect your emails through Gmail as well. So Gmail, I find, is a really useful tool for all my emails um, so I can get them online. So assuming you receive your emails online through Gmail, then you'll find Streak really sits nicely. It implements itself really well, helps you focus on your work. So. I think the best thing to do is to just show you, first of all, a quick overview of what we're talking about with Streak. If I click on Pipelines, you'll see that I run my business uh, using the pipelines through Streak. And what this does, it just means that on a Monday when I start work, I can then see what's important, what I need to start on, and then other things to follow up throughout the week. And then things that I'm waiting on, and then when they're completed and ready to be invoiced, I put them into a completer section and then eventually I then invoice them and have a copy of the invoice number as well. But what that means is all the emails that are associated uh, with a particular project that starts on the Monday, works its way through to a point of being invoiced, they're all kept. So if ever there's an issue or a problem or something to look back on on an invoice, all the associated files, comments, emails, responses, they're all kept uh, related to that invoice. This really does mean you can organize your inbox within Gmail itself. And it's no really different to using like a spreadsheet, but at the same time, everything's much more automated, much more easy to use, and you can really get focus on what you're doing. So I'm gonna show you how you can make these pipelines, how you can organize your email, how you can get in effect inbox zero, and how you can run a business on using Streak for free. So let's take an example that, um, so I've received these emails, there's lots and lots of emails from Darren Lovett. Um, I've snoozed them a week because of uh, being busy, but this is all part of a, an Only Fools and Horses project that I'm involved in, there's a bit of work. So what I'm gonna do is just click all these together, so every email, that's to do with Darren Lover. This is how um, Streak produces these. When you do have them into a certain uh, um, tag or a certain um, section, that's how they work. You'll see that in a moment. So when I've done that, if I then click on here and add them to a pipeline, it now suggests some existing ones, but it's none of those. This is going to go into my Zanet new inbox. So I'll click that. And what it's done is it's taken what it thinks would be a good name, Start Monday, um, opening C Sing is what it's given it. And it's then put them all into one area ready to start on Monday. Now I don't want to start on Monday. I want this to um, be a case of follow up next week. So click on that instead. And that will then um, change that. And I'm not going to call it opening scene. It's actually going to be called 
only fools and horses. So the beauty of this, it means that I can now put those off until next week and I can then follow up on them as well. So let's, um, let's now archive that. And now that's out of my inbox, but they haven't disappeared. And what they are is if I now go to Zanet and here is my pipeline. And this is the process I have. So start Monday, follow up next week, waiting on completed invoiced. And you'll notice now I've just got one thing there in the follow up section, only fools and horses. And if I open that, inside there are all my emails that I've just put into that section. And also I can look at all the emails there. So if I wanted to reply to one in particular, I've got them there. If I click on files, these are all the files that uh, are provided in those emails. So if I just want to access all the files and download the files, I can add comments as well if I wanted to and so on. So this is really useful. Um, if I go on to here, I can choose things like, um, do I want to give an estimate of time or costs or hourly? Again, I can set those up as something you can choose, um, how many hours is going to take or if I put a quote in and so on. Uh, what the contacts are here. So I've got a couple of uh, contact details here if I need to follow up with either of the people involved in that. I can put notes in here as well. And this was created August the 3rd, which is today. And then if I follow up next time it's updated. So I can see when it was created and then when it was last updated. So that gives you an idea of how these uh, work within the pipeline. Let's just go back to this. So what these are then is these are the sections that I can change. Now, I've noticed that I've got quite a lot that I'm still waiting on, and some of these are going cold. So you notice date created, and that sparkly bit there means that this is kind of automatically done. So I had some um, some quotes and some discussions back in January. These have gone cold. I could go on stages. You notice on here, um, I'm gonna add um, a new stage called gone cold. And the idea of that is just to just see whether it, I can follow up on it, uh, just see if it's worthy of doing anything with. And I'm gonna put that, so I want that to be done after, so this is the process now, after I've done the work that has to be done on a Monday, and then I've then followed up on things that have come from the previous week. I'm then going to go into this gone cold bit and just see if I can reconjure some interest in our discussions. And really there'll be the things that have come from waiting on can then go into the gone cold if they've been longer. So let's just do that. Let's go back to, to here. It reminds me I need to save that. These ones here, I'm just going to click all these ones and I'm now going to do a follow up. So if I click on stages here and these are going to go into this new section called gone cold. There you go. So this is now a process. So once I've finished up on my follow-up next, I can then go to my go cold. Now you might be thinking, well, this is all very well, but this doesn't fit in with my type of business. And let me just show you that it's so easy to make a new pipeline. So let's say you wanted a sales pipeline or you wanted to hire people and, uh, or you wanted just new distributors. Uh, th there'll be different types of pipelines depending on who uh, and what you're actually trying to accomplish. And this is all taken care of as well. So if I click on pipelines, and you'll notice here they provide you with really um, a kind of a starting basis where you can then start to um, go through it and think, well, that, that would fit my project. So for instance, if you were into sales, then you've got leads contacted. Um, if you were, for instance, um, wanting to hire people, then you might want to get their resume. You might want to see if you can negotiate an offer with them, whether you hire them, whether you give them an exam to see if they've passed. Again, a whole process here or a job search. These are all kind of made up as just what would be considered really useful starting points. And then you can adapt them and change them. And also the fields that they, uh, they uh, allude to, how they work. These again, you can make changes to. You've got automated parts. Often you'll find that you'll just want to customize and start from scratch and that's fine. You can do that too. And also if you want to change the color scheme, I mean, this is quite a, a strong color scheme, but you can uh, click on here and you can go into the stages and you'll notice that if you wanted to perhaps uh, brand it or if you wanted to go for something a bit different. So let's see, for instance, my branding's green. So I can click on that and save and you'll just see then you get this, it's really kind of quite a pleasant way of distributing all of these uh, stages so that you can visually see them. And also it's not just about you. Um, you can involve other team players. So I'm running 
business on my own, a uh, one player person, but you can assign it to new people, you can assign it to members of teams and so on. So everyone can use this as well. It's a team thing within your CRM for your small business if you've got several people that you need to run through a Gmail account. Another thing you might want to just sort them in order. So uh, if you notice on the waiting on, so let's close all, if I go to waiting on, you'll notice here that I might want to sort these in order. So I can click on here, I can go for most frequent, least count, I can do all sorts of other things like you would in a spreadsheet really. Um, I can fill these in, uh, I can add uh, various options as well. And also the other thing as well is you can have more than one pipeline. So uh, when I was doing some DIY, I was collecting uh, quotes and uh, getting initial quotes and proposed prices and so on. And then uh, as they, they went through, I then put them into completed. So you can have it as simple or as complex as you like, but you can also have it for private things as well. So if you're wanting to do that within your own um, Gmail as well. So that was just something that, again, I found was really useful. And really when you put all this together, it just means you're more organized. It means then you can go to your inbox and you can go for each of your emails and then you can set up uh, who's who, what's what, uh, and you can add them to it as well. So if I got, if I received, um, say for instance, here, I've received something regarding an ebook, um, I can then add it to a pipeline. So add it to a pipeline and it will then suggest maybe it's a new one or is it one that I can then add to or one that's been invoiced before and so on. So just one final thing, if I wanted to um, reply to this and I put a couple of things together, you notice I can also put email tracking on and I can also add snippets. So snippets are quite useful. So if I wanted to say about a general quote, I can just put this in and there I've then got this snippet which uh, is produced and it's quite straightforward. Uh, I can edit snippets as well. If I click on that again, I can manage snippets and in here I can choose um, so I can, if I've produced an email, I can then just add a new follow up to it and uh, then that's useful to do. Uh, so that's, that's quite helpful. And the other thing as well, and this is something I really do like, is if you've sent an email, so just delete that. Now sometimes you send an email and you just want to know if they've read it. So also what it does is it provides you with uh, a knowledge of when they last read it. So this tells me that it's been viewed twice this email response. Uh, it tells me roughly where they were and it just lets me know that they saw it three days ago. And that's really useful if you've sent an email and you're not sure whether they've responded. It just tells you whether or not they've read the email. So I found that's a really useful way of knowing that you don't need to follow up. They have seen that information. So hopefully you'll find that's useful. Um, Streak itself, um, I'll put the download below. It really is a, a freebie. Um, if you want to expand it, obviously there is a paid version as well, but you'll find if you're running a business, a small business, you will find this absolutely changes how you operate, how you get your inbox zero each day and how you become much more successful at being in control of pretty much every task that comes via a Gmail so, or via an email. You notice that for me, um, my business about a year ago or so was just stagnant, but since I've managed to operate these types of things like a decent CRM um, and uh, integrated some SEO, you notice that my stats don't lie, but you see this great increase. I was for many years a believer that SEO doesn't work. Um, I think SEO does work. It just has to be done the right way. And for me, things like Google My Business, which is pretty much what my channel is about, and using other things to do with like Google, Gmail, these things when they're combined together are incredibly powerful. So do check out some of my other videos that are here now and see how you can improve your videos and benefit your business.